Hey guys, today we are showing you a way to adjust serving sizes on the website. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. my kitchen. I am Chris from Recipes at Croc.com. I am Mikey from Recipes at Croc.com. <laughs> and today we are showing you another feature on the website that we aren't sure that you really know about. So we wanted to uh, hop behind the computer today, do some screenshots so that you can kind of see some nifty tools that are on the website that you may or may not be aware of. So one of the questions I get asked all the time is what if I don't want to make this that big so for example let's say it has eight servings and I only need four servings I don't want to be eating this for you know a month so what can what can I do um, and another question that I oftentimes get is I'm going to be making this for a family holiday how do I double this recipe? So we get that a lot from you guys and we wanted to show you that there is this nifty tool on the website that makes that a lot easier for you. And we're also going to give you some tips if that's what you're trying to do on how to um, go about it. So first we're going to start out with a recipe so we can talk about what we would do to double it or what we would do to cut it in half. And we're going to do that with our how to make fresh green beans because that it's summertime and people either have fresh green beans in their garden or somebody's giving them some or they might even get them from the grocery store because it's kind of a yummy thing to enjoy during the summer. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop onto recipesthecrock.com and we are going to go and find a recipe because we need to look for this and we're going to do fresh green beans. So Mikey's typing in fresh green beans and letting our recipe finder go about it and bingo, right there one, it right is. There. Dang, dang, so dang. we're going to click on it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the post where the recipe card is. And that is, it has a great big red header to it. And in that red header is hidden this tool that I'm talking about. And so if you look underneath where it says print, pin, and rate, then there is a little blue 8 you will see that is the serving size. And that, if you hover over it, if you just take your mouse and you touch the 8 with it, you don't click it yet, it brings up a little slider bar that lets you increase or reduce the ingredients based off of that. So it's going to be like an automatic calculator to help you either cut the recipe in half or make however many servings you want. So let's say we want to make we want to make fresh green beans but we don't want to make a big old batch. We just want to make it four servings. So let's cut it in half by reducing that down to four. So as you see, as he's moving that slider, it reduced the ingredients down. Okay, so now we know what we need to get from the grocery store. Now the thing that this does not change, it changes your ingredients that you need, but it doesn't change the instructions because I don't have a way of doing that. So I'm gonna give you a tip on how you can kind of know if you wanna decrease something, what you should do, and if you want to increase something, what you should do. So we're going to decrease this in half. The original recipe calls for a six quart slow cooker to cook for eight to 10 hours. So this is our all day slow cooker recipe. If we're going to cut those ingredients in half, we could still use our six quart slow cooker, um, but we're probably going to cook it far less time because we're using a bigger cooking vessel than what the ingredients are. So optimally, a slow cooker cooks best two thirds full most of the time. So if you're gonna cut the ingredients in half, this is gonna cook way faster than it would cook um, it with all the ingredients in there. So if you don't want, if you're wanting an all day green bean recipe, you don't want to just throw half the ingredients in a six quart slow cooker because it may overcook, especially a lot of the newer slow cookers cook really, really hot. Okay, so what you can do instead is you can get yourself an oven safe bowl that makes your cooking vessel inside smaller 
and then you put half the ingredients inside and you put water no more than halfway up the outside your bowl okay so this is down in here we're going to put water on the outside of the bowl and we're going to put our ingredients on the inside of the bowl and then that makes our cooking vessel smaller and then that way it can cook more close to the original time. And the reason you only want to go halfway up the bowl is because you don't want that to come to a boil and boil over into it and water down your stuff. No, we don't, want, we don't want it to water down. Now, that is the way to do it all within the same kind of slow cooker. However, if you have a smaller slow cooker, you could just dump half the ingredients in a four quart and, and go to town. Now. I say all of this with the rule of thumb that the first time you try a new recipe at all, I don't care if you're messing with the amount of ingredients or not, cooking times are always going to vary depending on your unit because... Because every slow cooker cooks differently. So I wouldn't necessarily leave something completely unattended um, the very first time I cooked it. But once you kind of got the hang of this recipe, this is a way to adapt it. Now. If I were going to double something that was already in a six quart slow cooker and already fills it up, now it's either going to make it cook. So let's go on and double. Okay, so we let's, were at eight. We were at eight, so we're going to make it for 16 people. We are going to a picnic and we want to bring the green beans and we want to make people, uh, we want to make sure everyone enjoys these home fresh green beans. So went ahead and it doubled the ingredients for you so you know what you need to get at the store but now how do you do the slow cooking well first of all if it all fits within the slow cooker you could always still use a six quart slow cooker most of the time though if it's way too full you're not going to be able to do that so you can do two things um, you can either use an eight quart slow cooker if you happen to have one or just divide it I just use two six quart slow cookers that's what I end up doing. And if it's a baked good, I don't care how far up it fills or anything like that. I, I, do, I rarely ever double in the same slow cooker, even if it would fit. Because if it's supposed to bake up, you are piling all kinds of food in there to make that center fight to get done. Yeah, it's going to be mushy. Yeah, so people always ask us. Some people go ahead and try it, and it turns out fine for them. But it's also especially if you're doing it for a holiday it's kind of a recipe for disaster um, because you're never sure if that middle is going to get done for you so I would always just do it in two different slow cookers is, is the way that I would handle it but we hope that this tool has made it a little bit easier for you guys to know how to you know maybe sometimes I get people asking me how do I cut this in thirds well you know it's not perfect by any means because it might say like you know one third of a can of beans or something <laughs> depending on what you're making or one third of a can of corn um, but it it's it's a way for you to kind of look at what kind of ingredients um, or, or what what no what amount of ingredients you're going to need to make something and make it to fit your family you just got to keep these alteration um, considerations in mind um, but we hope this has been helpful dude yeah. In the last like month, month and a half, uh -huh. you have answered questions of, well, I can't find things on the site like I want to. And you gave them a recipe finder. High five. <laughs> and then now, and we always get questions of, well, it, we're only cooking for two. We want to cut this recipe in half. What do we do? You just gave them that tool. The only tool we have not given you people is the cook, oh, which no. has to be you. We can't cook it for, you know what we could? <laughs> Call me. I'll come cook dinner for you. <laughs> Maybe don't, make, don't make promises you can't yeah. keep. You know how many people are like, what's his number? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. If you like this video, we'd love for you to give us a thumbs up. If you are not already a member of the Crock Posse, we'd love for you to click subscribe down below and become a member of our slow cooking family around here. Please. Um, if you'd like notified every time we upload a video, usually we're cooking around here, but um, sometimes we're giving you helpful hints about the website too. We'd uh, click the dingling. That little the, bell. That's the bell. And that will notify you every time we upload a new video. But um, whatever you do. Laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye guys. Bye y'all.
If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon link below.